What's up guys, Left and Right Stick here again with episode 51 of our team pick review. So this week we've got actually more levels from uh, the previously team pick creators, but we've got some really great levels. We actually checked out the first, this first level on our latest stream. It's Little Tearaway by Uno67. That's a very, very cute um, level based on Tearaway game by Media Molecule. You can actually play as IoT, Etoy, um, and also one of the manas, the, Greek, the wood spirit mana, and also squirrel. And you know, the special thing about this, you can, yeah, you can draw as you do in Tearaway. You can create your own stuff that create objects out um, drawing. It's really cool. Um, and it's using the Adventure Time uh, pack to do the aesthetics, which is very nice. Um, I had some issues with the Atoy costume though. Yeah, for some reason, for the first section, if I died using the Atoy costume, I couldn't get it back. It just becomes Sackboy, which is a real shame. Um, but there's lots of different elements in this whole level. You know, there's a beginning bit where you are just drawing obstacles to get um, along the world. Then there's a middle bit where you're collecting sort of nuts as the squirrel, and then you go back to being Atoy, and you can actually go find more characters. It says a character changing point. It's all very nice and cute, and it's just I really like the whole concept of you know using this drawing to uh, bring out new obstacles. That's just really nice. Um, the music is also nice as well. Um, the enemies, you know, very basic. You just jump on them. Um, there's not much to it. I really liked how the sound was actually done in these certain areas with the bombs, because actually after the explosion went off, the sound was actually deliberately dulled down, which is actually a very nice touch. You know, these little things really make a big difference. One thing that really annoyed me though is the look of this helicopter. It looks so ugly, <laughs> but never mind, a very great team pick nonetheless. Next up we have Super Smash Sackboy Revenge Part 3 by Fox Nocturne. This is basically um, an LBP version of Super Smash Brothers. Um, it's a multiplayer only level, so you one really sad thing I guess is that you can't play against, there's no bots to play against, you have to play in multiplayer, which I guess is one of the good things about this being team picked. It means that you will likely be able to find someone to play against. Um, in my play, to actually play against my feet. I had one controller controlled by my feet and then uh, one controller playing it, and that's what you see in front of you. Um, but you know, there's three stages in part three, um, and there's actually two other you know, part one, part two which have also three levels each, which didn't get team picked, but they were actually out quite a while ago, like two years ago. So it's a bit strange that part three recently just got team picked now. Um, but I feel like <coughs> what I do really like about it is when there's a wide range of attacks and stuff, the stages look very good and everything's, you know, little extra bits about the stage, which are really great and fun, little tiny bits of details. And, <coughs> you know, the item usage is actually great. I love that there's a Pokeball sort of feature as well. But I can it annoys me that it's split up into three parts. Surely um, Fox Nocturne could have maybe made a hub where you can, in the hub you control your settings, uh, you know, what options, and then in the hub you go to each stage, you can put in the hub, you can have like all the nine stages in one hub, you go to, you just walk towards that and you go into that after you've made the settings in the hub. Surely that would have been a better way to do it, but I really like the stages. Some of the stages have like, um, uh, bits where you can destroy, some bits where you know attacks you. It's really great, really great um, Smash Bros. Sort of clone in LVP. Next up, and finally we have Rusty Metal by Major Maximus LBP. Once again, Major Maximus is getting an, another team pick, but it's very well deserved. Major Maximus is just popping out really cool levels. Um, in this whole level, I really, really love the atmosphere and lighting. And it's all very good. Um, the music. I felt was a bit too quiet though, although, you know, it's probably because it's, you know, just the LBP theme, um, just done in a more eerie way. Um, but I really like this whole power-up that we have as well, to power Velocity Portals. That's, you know, it's, it's a nice touch to sort of make a twist on existing um, sort of uh, uh, tools, I guess. Uh, Velocity Portal, um, you know, you, you don't just go through them, you actually have to power them, which is very nice. And you use them for puzzles as well, it's not just you going through them, you use them for puzzles, which is actually a very nice touch. The whole um, factory sort of uh, aesthetic just looks beautiful. He's done it very, very well. There are a nice range of obstacles. He's used the Velocity Portals in a varied way, which is very great. And there's also, you know, other dangers and movements, which, you know, they're copied a bit throughout um, the level, but are still utilized very differently. In the whole level as well, you can actually have multiple um, power ups to use with boot boots. There's a grapple hook, and there's that uh, gun Velocity Portal power uh, thing. <laughs> And there's also uh, sort of these lab vial things to collect, which I couldn't find them all. 
um, some are sort of hidden away or sort of like in a sort of extra section. Um, others are just very plain to see and it just takes a little bit more time or you know, more effort to get to. Um, but overall, this actually you know, has some little challenging parts, obviously not too challenging, but still does a very great level. I really like the atmosphere and style of this, and I feel like Mega Max is actually really improving. I hope you guys enjoyed all these team pick levels. Let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. Click that like button if you enjoyed this team pick review, and don't forget to subscribe to Lester Rustic for more LBP and Dreams content to come.